Shock recording for you, Chiang Mai Thai video. Don't mind the background noise. Background noise, background noise. Yes, we are here at the railroad crossing. Uh, it's half past five. It's the most busiest time of day. Soon uh, some police officers will, uh, will handle the traffic. But now we have a challenge to cross. We're going to cross the cross. Uh, flip the camera, follow us. Hurdle was taken. Uh, traffic in Chiang Mai can be rather busy. Here, crossing the railroad track, I'm always surprised it's just one single track. It's the train going uh, going to Bangkok, and there is one single track going to Bangkok. Now this is oh, if I don't fall in the hole, I made it. For so far. Yes, the most busiest time of day, or maybe the morning can be more busy than this, <laughs> but that's not my time. It's half past five, half past five in the afternoon. The doctor said I need to walk more. Walking is not a hobby, and uh, the streets in Chiang Mai are not suitable for walking. Eh? They forget uh, a footpath. But I noticed there's an icon, a Thai icon, not a hidden gem. <laughs> That's not, but it's a Thai icon uh, and it's, it's as far as when I used to go over there, that's where I used to walk and then across I saw something familiar. We're going to check it out. Ah, it's not easy, uh, it's not the best time to do this walk, I think. Flip the camera. Not the best time to do this walk. This is rather busy over there. Eh? It's, it's uh, almost too busy. And they make it two lanes. It is not two lanes, it's just a single lane. But okay, we have to check it if it's uh, stable. It's stable, stabilized view. Um, because otherwise it would be too shaky for you. Then you would be nauseous uh, watching the video. That's not what we want. Uh, we just want to take a walk. Not because we like to walk, it's actually it's hurting. <laughs> yes, but the doctor said, I sit too much. I sit too much playing games, playing YouTube, playing internet, waiting for Pim to come home. Some people think Pim is owning the bar. Some people think I am owning the bar. No. I just wait for Pim to come home. That's what I do. Now walking, that's, uh, that's a thing over here because there is no walking path. There is, yeah. Kind of motorcycle, extra motorcycle lane. But only on one side. On this side, maybe it's meant for parking. Could be. Now this is interesting for Jon. Jon can read this, and he will read that there is something to sell. For sale. Uh, land for sale. Land for sale. Look at the sky. It's beautiful. It's the best time of year. Best time of year to come out. Best time of year to come out. The temperature is, is, is nice. It's not too hot. A little bit clouded. The air is clean. What else do you want? You should be here too. Okay, continue. Flip. So, <laughs> it was not filming. It was not filming. Over there, there is a complete company for sale. Over here, this is the bare land, and you can start a business over here. Only the access to the business has to be over there. They have some temporary uh, crossing of the water. But this water, it was part of the floods. Because this was flooding. I've seen drone images. There are some drone images on the interweb and then this was one big river 
This is heading to Lampoon. Lampoon Lampang. Single railroad track. And after Lampoon Lampang going down south. Yeah. Heading to Bangkok. Over there. There is the railway station of Chiang Mai. So if you take the night train. Chiang Mai. Bangkok you're going on this single track railroad that's surprising for me single track railroad now we're heading to some interesting new icon so this was flooded this must have been flooded too I wasn't here because I was over there uh, and I already had a difficult time I did not have a boat to check it out but what now it is busy and people people coming see 7-eleven is it a very large 7-eleven do i need something yes i need uh, razor blades uh, because 7-eleven is more like a drugstore while uh, lotus fresh is more like a supermarket And you can do your groceries over here, but I'm not I'm not sure it's cheap if it's working like the the Albert Heijn in the Netherlands that every every single shop has its own prices and the prices in Groningen are not the same as the prices in Maastricht. I think so. Because most of those places they're franchise. And 7 Eleven 7-Eleven is an icon because it's open 24-7 why do you want to do your groceries 24-7 nobody knows but uh, labor is cheap eh? the labor is so cheap it doesn't matter closing down or not I think the energy bill is bigger than the, than the bill from the staff yes now I have to count how much time we spent. How much time we spent on this one. I have to process it, put it out, because uh, it's not a one-shot video. Uh, I hope it's, uh, it's stable enough for you to enjoy. To to see my surprise is a rather big 7-Eleven. Not in, uh, not in a suburb, outside a suburb, and the only thing is the road. It's not a highway, it's just a secondary road. And opposite, on the other side of the track, there's another secondary road. The highway is, uh, is not there. There's a ring, and there's even a second ring, and the inner ring, and I think there are three rings. This is not part of the ring. This is part of uh, the, the road to Lampung. Lampung, Lampung. Lampung, Lampung. Now, now I'm heading back home, trying to get uh, home safe. I have to walk with the traffic in my back now, because I cannot walk on the other side, because there is nothing at all. And, uh, and here we have the double lanes, double lanes, but the, 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 the secondary lane is used uh, my motorbikes. Yes, I should buy a razor blade, but I forgot to bring in my money. But uh, now I have to come back someday, somehow. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> announcing a new channel, eh? Jacques, Jacques reporting for you. It will start at 1 December. No, it will start at 1 January, not 1 December. We take it another month, another month to announce it, announce it, announce it and try to gain 1,000 subscribers even before the channel starts. That's, what, that's our goal, our mission for the, to the end of the year. Uh, Jacques reporting for you. There is a link uh, somewhere in the corner or in the description or in the first comment. And we will make the same kind of videos, but we skip our past. Uh, that means we skip the shorts. The shorts are dragging us down. They uh, are conflicting with, uh, with the statistics and uh, people are only watching one minute 
and they are only watching one minute to the long videos too while this video is I'm not sure how long it is 12 minutes 12 minutes recording here yeah it's it's a place together with your friends uh, 7-eleven you can uh, you can hang around 7-eleven here uh, outside it's on the it's Sarapi district eh? it's Sarapi district okay reporting from Chiang Mai Thailand Chiang Mai expat daily life it's the daily life of an expat going to go to 7-eleven forget your money watching. thank you for watching just like and subscribe and I see you later I see you later now is there a thumbnail in this <laughs> I'm not sure about that see you later